Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI. When we left off, we were in the middle of a little bit of a religious war trying to convert the Aztecs to our religion. It could be going better. I'll say that much. <laughs> um, however, we do have that apostle with the indulgence vendor trait. And it would appear that we have at least one city down here that is close to our religion. And we can definitely start putting some religious pressure elsewhere. Although, converting this one is probably a good idea. It, we only need the one person to convert. Still, with that, Let's see what happens. Russia has built a market in Moscow. Russia's way behind. Uh, Norway's running around with... Ow. They have decided to engage my apostles in theological combat. I have no idea what just happened there and how they got some sort of massive flanking bonus or something. What just happened? Uh, we're gonna die if we stick around. I think we just lost an apostle because I was trying to figure out what something meant. Ah, oh, joy. You know, this is why I wish the tooltips were clearer. Um... Well, I'm gonna die. Almost certainly. Go against him. Die, go against him, die. I need another. And you are the indulgence vendor. So, Hotten, what do you. Damascus. Further away, but it has a road most of the way. No, I'm gonna go with Hotton. Give me another fossil. But it doesn't matter because. Well. Oh. I die because they got 20% bonus religious strength in theological combat. Yep. Lots of sense. Unless I can run into my city and they cannot attack me while I'm in my city. Which. You know, that wouldn't be a terrible thing. Okay, Archers the Apostle, Damascus needs more housing, and yeah, everywhere needs more housing. Okay. Next turn. Why are you running up there? I thought I told you. Never mind, I must have done something wrong. Either I did something horribly wrong, or the game makes absolutely no sense, but. Hey. Okay. We're 
Russia are under great writer, so they're going for a cultural victory. Alright. If we have somebody who is remotely good at religious combat, I can go stomp both of Norway's apostles. The whole palace complex is built along the central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Well then, I guess... I guess we have World Wonder. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? <laughs> Cute. Uh, open the technology tree. Now, uh, what do we have that would be useful? We need to get steam power sooner or later. Cartography, I don't know how useful it would be. Square rigging, we could probably get the boost for if we start a war right now. Not really interested in starting a war right now. We could get economics, and then get replaceable parts. Which might not be the worst idea in the world. Flight, build industrial error, later wonder. We're going to get that pretty soon. And well, then we'd be able to build aerodromes. Hey, those would be good. Electricity. Power plant. Okay. That's your fleet armada training, plus 25%. Okay. Combustion would give us oil. Could also go get steel right now, but... To get steel, we need a coal mine. I want to work on economics. We could use more money. We could also... Well, no, we can't build bombards anymore, so... We might as well get siege tactics after that. Now, you get a promotion. Um, neither of those is good. Not good enough to delay sending you up. in order to try and deal with the um, conversion issues we have going on up there. Okay, districts. How many districts are we allowed to have? We have three districts constructed out of four possible. Okay, we have our commercial up right there. I'm tempted to go build a harbor right there. Can't even queue it up despite the fact we could probably buy that tile right now. Yes, we can. That is most of our money, but we can. Could also get a campus. And yes, the campus would be useful, but I think... Right now, the harbor would be better. Don't have enough housing. We're not going to get housing quickly off the campus. We will get housing more quickly off the harbor. Which will help us grow a little bit more. So, that's my plan, although we could just go build more. Must be built on a hill adjacent to a mountain. We could put it right here. I was thinking of putting a campus right here so we'd have a nice little district triangular bonus. And I think I'd rather do that. 
Mabadodi Temple. No. I guess Sophia. No. Chichen Itza, no. Put, no, 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 no. Okay. Harbor it is. Purchase a tile. I'm still working on that district. Not only is this going to give me an adjacency bonus for when I build a campus on this hill right next to this mountain. Oh, I've got a policy slot to fill. Another wild card slot, so I can put in anything here. Um. I think economy would be helpful right now. And yes, rationalism. I, I got thinking, it's like, yeah, rationalism is definitely going to be useful. All right, let's confirm those policies. Are we going to get some theological combat strength? That wouldn't be terrible, since it seems like we're going to be fighting Norway, who does have that religious combat strength. No, I want the science. Science will be too useful right now. Or do we want great people points? No. Holy side adjacency bonuses. We've been doing a pretty good job stacking those. Double's faith yield from holy site district buildings. No, we don't have enough of those. Let's go get some science. We're at 113. We just got seven more science. And that number is going to go up as we put more buildings in more districts. And yeah, that guy is worth a promotion. I don't care. He's not getting a promotion. Now then, what's next? Okay. Ah, uh, you. You can go kill this guy and win. Although you're going to die immediately afterwards. You're going to spread some of my religion to the immediate area. Yep. I did knock out some of their Protestantism. And I did raise mine a little bit. But it really does depend on popul on um, city density and what's nearby, so... Going to need to move this guy over here. Alright. Next turn, I suppose. Ugh. I have quarries that are completely unused. Yep, I knew he was gonna die, but now I'm gonna kill Norway's guy. Norway's apostle. That was semi-deliberate. Improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. All right, what do we get? Oh, public work and change policies. We just lost one of our policies. It got obsoleted. Because we have public works. 
Before our newly trained builders got two extra build actions, now we get 30% production towards builders and they get two extra build actions. No, we can't stack both of those. Nice try. But it does mean that we can get our builders out faster when we want to get builders. Which is a good thing. Open the Civic Street and... What do we have up here? Um, art museum? Maybe. Opera and ballet, I mean? No. Urbanization, we need that right now. Nationalism, we're not going to get anything. So, no. We're not going to get nationalism anytime soon. We need the neighborhoods that we get from urbanization. We could go build two field cannons, which probably wouldn't be terrible, and that would give us scorched earth. Or faster access to scorched earth. Which... That's not bad. Um, natural history, though. We need to build an archaeological museum. I think we can get a culture... Okay. You are going to move here. Where is a missionary? No, well, where's a holy site? Where are their holy sites? I don't know where their holy sites are. As they need to go find those. And, uh, yep, yeah, Menda needs more housing. Everything needs more housing. And beyond that, um, this builder, instead of going over to that kettle, I want to move over here. Alright, with that, nothing else is going to happen for a couple of turns. There's their apostle running around trying to not get killed. No. I think we can go hunt him down and kill him. That will be much, much more effective. You can come here. You can come here. How do I find out if they have a holy site somewhere? There's one. There's another. Uh, did I actually convert all their holy sites? All their cities with holy sites? I might have. <laughs> That'd be funny if I did. Though this city's close to swinging back, I need to go convert that. And you put some more pressure on that. Their capital's not exerting any pressure whatsoever. So. Okay, where's. Some... Uh. Apostle. You. Okay, this apostle, who has the indulgence vendor upgrade, right, I am sending him down here to convert this city. This guy gives me the relic, so I am going to send him up here. For some reason, everybody wants to fight a religious war up here. I don't know why. Let me go send him into the city. And we're in our next turn. Hmm. 
Russia earned a great musician. Okay, we're gonna have to go, uh... Do something about that. Well, two things this turn. First... We come attack this Apostle of uh, Norway's. That wasn't hard. And we just knocked out a huge amount of their religious influence on our cities. Maybe not huge, but quite a bit. Probably worth a follower over there, and we gained some. Cairo has finished building its shipyard. It's time to build the temple. Finally. Um, how happy are my people? Still ecstatic. Still have plenty of amenities over population. That's good. And next turn, a whole lot happens. But that will have to happen next episode. We've come to the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching. I am Jimbo the Fussy. I hope to see you again next time, where hopefully we can get through more than one turn with all this amazing stuff that's about to happen.